differentiate x to the power of x. This is a real Cambridge interview question that has been asked in engineering interviews, uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if they asked it in maths or maybe physics interviews as well. And in this video, I'm going to show you two methods for differentiating this. Now, if you don't know how to do it, don't worry, because in the interview, you're not expected to know how to do it. They want to see how you think, and they want to help you to try and solve this. So don't worry if you don't get the right answer. So the first method is we're going to let y be equal to x to the power of x. And then what we're going to do is we take the logarithm of both sides so we can bring the power down, which is something we can differentiate. So if we take the logarithm of both sides, we get this. And now this is equal to x log x, which is good because we can differentiate this or we can't differentiate this. So what we're going to do is we're going to differentiate both log y and x log x. Differentiate log y, you get 1 over y dy by dx because of the chain rule. And now differentiating this, we're going to use the product rule. So we're going to differentiate one, leave the other, plus differentiate the other, leave one. And this is equal to log x plus one. And then if we multiply both sides by y, we can simplify this dy by dx is equal to y log x plus 1. And we know what y is. y is equal to x to the power of x. So that is simply equal to x to the x log x plus 1, which is the answer. Now, there's a more direct approach to doing this, but it's a bit more tricky. So what we're going to notice is that x is equal to e to the power of log x. So x to the x is equal to e to the power of log x to the power of x, which is equal to e to the x log x. And this is good because we can differentiate this. So we'll differentiate this by differentiating x log x. And we've differentiated that already. And we know it's log x plus 1. So we're just going to put log x plus 1, and multiply that by e to the x log x. And we know that this is equal to x to the x. So therefore, the answer is once again x to the x log x plus 1. 